This is Dr. Juliet and I'm here in Kohima, Kohima, Nagaland. Today I've, I, have, I have to say I have uh, experienced two extremes and I wanted to uh, share this story with you. It's not easy to tell this, but I'm here in front of the dog, uh, where, where they sell dog meat. And I wanted to show this to my girls, because everything is a matter of perception. I don't agree with, for example, killing a dog to eat a dog, but it's all about how if you have been brought up. I would never do this, I would never eat a dog, I would never kill a dog to eat. But I just want to show you that for them, for here, it's normal. What I want to say also, as I like, I do like food therapy, and every meat has a different temperature, have a different action on the body as a healing action. And for the Nagas, a dog is a very special meat. It's the most, how do you say, most healthy of the meats. It's even 300 rupees a kilo compared to a beef and a chicken that we only pay beef, we only pay 150 rupees. So this is very important to know and very important to understand in their culture. On one hand, I've seen this morning on the market that they're still eating dogs here. Dog is a very healthy meat for them, it's very expensive and they, they kill dogs like they would kill a cow or a chicken. And on the other hand, I came back to the guest house and there the owner of the guest house introduced me. See, this is my daughter and I was looking around, where is her daughter, where is her child? And she showed me her dog and she says, my dog, don't let your kids touch my dog because she's my daughter, she will bite. So. In this video, I want to share you that you can love your dog, you can do whatever you want with him, but a dog is not a child. You can love your dog, you can have a very nice relationship with it, but considering a dog as a child can have bad consequences. And you can learn with me how to still have a great relationship with your pet, that he still loves you, but don't make the same mistakes.